that Steve Aaron needs sunglasses to talk trash to Vito Two Fingers Fontaine? <laughs> yeah, apparently it is. Determined here tonight, the home team, the Bruise Brothers, to face the away team, current 0-1 USA Tag Team Champions, the Low Lives. And the Low Lives are hoping to make a splash in Chicago-style wrestling. By being punk. Well, they got in the face of Vito Two Fingers Fontaine earlier not no on the way to the ring. He just recently celebrated his induction into the Hall of Fame. These guys are the champions in 0-1, so they're, okay, understandably, your ego's going to be big. You're very accomplished. You're very talented. You're in Chicago now, man. You're in a different corner of the universe. You've got DJ Steele and Steve Boss, the Chicago-style wrestling tag team champions, and Steve Boss is urinating on the chair. Steve Aaron. You're in a different world, man. On Facebook.com. He did the research, he did the analyzation, and now that the match has been made official, everyone in Chicagoland is clued into the fact that the Bruce Brothers have teams outside of CSW breathing down their necks, and they are the marked men. Can the Bruce Brothers continue to reign supreme as the dominant tag team champion? They outlasted several different formulas and factors from the Moretti Agency. Yes, they do. But now it's outside of Chicago-style wrestling. There are teams knocking on the door. Top-notch tag teams all around the world. They all have scored wins. They all want to wrestle them. They have lived in the gym, and they look amazing. Steve yeah. Boz, TJ Steele, the Bruce Brothers. If you want a body like Boz has, go to Body, Boz, body by Boz on Facebook. Go to that Facebook page. These guys have beaten the Rage, and I'm talking about TJ and Boz. They've beaten the Rage, the Slambinos, the Freak Show, and as you said, various incarnations of the Moretti Agency. Holding the Tag Team Championships here at CSW for 92 days. And ten, ten. Oh, the Lives might not even try to wrestle the Bruce Brothers Maybe tonight. Not. They are very intimidated by the size, the power, and the muscle brown freaks that are in the ring right now. They don't realize what Chicago brings. They're in a different area of the universe. A very bad area of the universe. You people watch the news, you see what happens here in Chicago, and now you're here in the epicenter. What are you gonna do? Low lives decked out and primarily gold with black trim, black with gold trim, either way. Joey O'Reilly in the ring right now is tag team partner, the chairman, Jordan Perry. Yo, double, right what? Perry? Right, double team missile launching cross body block. They call it the highlight. Any relation to Steve Perry? You know, the singer from Journey? Uh, TJ still caught the foot of Joey O'Reilly. And now it's time to cinch it in real tight. Over time, the Low Lives have won a lot of questionable matchups in the past by using solid steel chairs, and they brought one out with them tonight. Oh, they marched out here, so they brought out game, that steel huh? chair. Oh, they're sneaky. They're pinpoint accurate strikers. They have excellent communication. Do the Low Lives. But TJ Steele so far is taking Joey O'Reilly on a trip around the ring, up and down and up and down. And his body is thriving in pain already. You think things are going to be better for Jordan Perry? No. No way. Aaron, you're going to have to play 52 card pickup with whatever's left of the low lines when this is over with. You know what? I see where he's where he's going with this. Aaron brought these guys in, thinking, well, you know. Double team offense on the way. Side slam. Leg drop. Well, let's just put it this way. The might go away quick. Aaron's, but plan Aaron's plan doesn't look to be working. Well, you said it yourself. You know, when you try to take cheap shots, when you try to intimidate, when you try to be amazing and entertaining, and you get in the face of a Hall of Famer like Vito Two Fingers Fontaine, you don't think that he's going to have a 
response at some point. Especially a businessman oh, from Chicago. Think about it like that. Think about what I said about Chicago. Jordan Perry with the reversal, but he got caught in that head scissors. It, they threw up those L's on their entrance to the ring, but there's no way that the Bruce Brothers are going to lose tonight. Right now, they're looking really good in the ring against the low line. Now, you never know, though, Kenton. You never know. You don't want to get too far ahead. It's still early in the match. Success elsewhere. This is their CSW debut, and what a debut it would be if they won the tag team titles and rubbed it in the faces of all the fans online and elsewhere. How are they going to get out of the building? Nice slingshot shot, clothesline by TJ Steele. Bonds held up. Jordan Perry in the perfect position, and TJ Steele nearly knocked his head off. They have to get a police escort just to leave the building. These low lives will push buttons. Oh, they're doing it. And they're doing it. They're in the match of their lives here, Stan. I don't think they're firmly aware of the competition, the level of competition they're in there against. Steve Bodge, two and a half decades as a pro. The best in Chicagoland wrestling of an entire generation. The best, yes. And TJ Steele has gotten better and better. Their communication, everything about these two is absolutely fantastic as they work together to deliver the abuse. I pointed out to Superstar no, Billy Graham. Perry's the physique could be Jay wasted Steele. at any moment now. I pointed out to Superstar Billy Graham on Facebook the physique of TJ Steele. And even Graham admitted that this guy, man, is the closest thing to him back in his heyday. Superstar Steve Boz has draped Jordan Perry in a seated position on that middle rope. And Boz hits the springboard leg drop. He changed directions in midair, and he almost put him away. Low lives off to a very slow start. Steve Boz training the future of the pro wrestling scene. Training future stars. He has got himself back in the game in phenomenal physical condition. The conditioning alone, the dedication to his craft, being the rock of the tag team. This is a family situation now, Stan. The Bruce brothers are together as family. Now it's a cheap shot, a knee lift to the back, and Steve Boss got clobbered from behind, and Jordan Perry, the chairman, has now decided that he has the opening that he's desired, and Steve Aaron shouting at Boss before delivering a, a devastating right-handed shot right to the head. Steve Aaron punching the superstar Chicago-style wrestling. Be careful. Right man. in the head. That may serve to haunt you later on down the road. His future is so bright, he says. And that's why he's wearing those shades. But is it so bright after you do that to Boz? I don't think so. The low lives trying to take over the match. The truth is, in terms of preparation, there are no two better than Steve Boz and TJ Steele. But the element of surprise that the low lives bring to the CSW, they are low life. That's a different story. Running boot. Joey O'Reilly starting to get a little bit of momentum. And show oh. some great hops. Standing moonsault press. That was very impressive. I got to hand it to the other man. Oh, he's got hops, Stan. What is this thing? He's got hops. He can jump high. Is that what that means? He's got hops. Joey O'Reilly, 10 years experience in the pro wrestling scene. Jordan Perry, right at about five. These two formed a tag team not too long ago, and they have defeated Zero Gravity. This is a tag team that's very they tough. They did? Yes, they have. I don't believe this. This is one of the toughest tag teams in downstate Illinois, and the tri was it the Quad Cities and all points in between? This is a very tough team, a duo here. TJ Steele it would have to be being lured into the ring for a moment there by Jordan Perry. And Joey O'Ryan trying to take liberties on Steve Boz while he's down. CSW tag titles are on the line in this match. As Joey O'Reilly hits a devastating leg drop across the chest of Steve Boz as he was draped on the edge of the ring. Look at Aaron fucking running his mouth to Boz. Well, he got in the face of Vito, two fingers Fontaine. Did Joey O'Reilly for a second there. What the heck is Aaron doing? Get that slob off! 
off a bar. Stop it. Where are the fish sticks when you need them? This guy has no business being at ringside for this man. Get some fish sticks right here. Talk about a fair weather fan, Steve Arrington. One minute he praises the Bruise Brothers, now he's conspiring against them. What kind of guy is this? Everywhere he goes, he's one of the most hated individuals around town. Oh yeah, on a global level, let me tell you. You know. Yeah, he, he recently got knocked off of his throne on the global level. But that's another story for a global audience. Nice kick. Boss has slung Jordan Perry. He's down. The low lives are in trouble here. They had the momentum, and it's slipping. TJ Steele is amped. He wants back into this match badly. You gotta prove that you're the best team in the world. Well, you gotta do it against these low lives. It's Steele versus O'Reilly. And those arms are just big, thick, and massive. He just continues to swing them viciously. Big splash in one corner. Jordan Perry stunned. Oh, friendly fire. O'Reilly hit his partner. Oh, dear. Really a sick drop. Joey O'Reilly got dumped upside down like a pancake on the grill. Oh, oh this is devastating chokes bomb. TJ still on top. Oh, come on. Oh, man, he just know. raked him right in the eyes in front of the official. That should be an automatic disqualification. Right in the eyes, man. Pair of kicks. They could have spread a knee. And now. The jaw steel is hurt. The low lives took advantage of a situation. The official letting the action get a little bit too out of hand. Hey, these guys worked the box. Now it's DJ over real the good. Count. They worked Boz and DJ over real good, man. I never seen them. If you want to be the top tag team in Chicago style wrestling, it really starts with preparation, Stan. You train hard, you eat clean, you represent Chicago proud. Then, you know, it doesn't hurt if you look like a GQ model. Like Steve Arendt, who was just joking. No, I would not rope. say that Steve Arendt looks like a published model out of any magazine. None of that modeling stuff works in Chicago. He, he might have eaten a model or two, or two. Barack, well, that's another story. Unless you're a guy called Barack and everybody likes you. And you just wow, you're really living. taking out the politics right here. But the, uh, we're, we're not going to go there. It's well, going it's a little too far. It's true there. Double you got team a back elbow. You got a pretty face. They all love you. Executed by the low lives. Shooting star press on the run. Joey O'Reilly has crushed the stern of, of TJ Steele and Boss saves his partner. But how many times can he interrupt the count before the referee will decide to force a disqualification? Well, they do have a five count. The double team. It should be noted, Stan, we do have a 0-1 USA official, Rip Tyler, that is responsible for what's going on in this match tonight. You're right. So that might give a slight edge to the low lives, but he's been trying to handle the pressure of being the official for this high stakes tag title match the best he can. TJ Steele, spine buster, but is it enough to get to his partner? It wasn't. No, Jordan Perry timed it perfectly. Put Steve Boz down off of the rain that's, apron. That's the thing. TJ could make the tag. You stumbled on it. You basically articulated it perfectly. It's their sense of timing. It's, the, it's so impeccable, and this is how they gained the advantage. And they're doing it again. We got a pair of low lives on the ropes there. Oh, they are low lives. Sit there and talk like that. TJ having a problem dealing with this two on one situation. Oh. Desperately trying to push him off. off and off the ropes. He's fending him off, TJ. Double blockbuster! TJ Steele with a desperation flying attack. Where did he pull that from? The tag titles of Chicago are on the line. The low lives have hurt TJ Steele and Steve Buzz already in this match. And a tag has been made. Here's Steve Buzz back in the full rumbling, screaming double clothesline. And Buzz has won by the head and neck. Bulldog to one, clothesline to the other. Buzz is done playing around. And he wants to make sure tonight that the Bruce Brothers retain the tag title. Double team. Attempt was negated. Two jawbreakers. Boz tried to pin.
win. Joey O'Reilly, but a two count there. Aaron frustrated, watching on. He delivered some cheap shots earlier to Steve Boss, and I'm sure Boss has not forgotten about that. Block the kick to Perry. Joey O'Reilly with a handstand into a cutter. And another cutter. Two in a row. Boss might be totally out cold. Oh, O'Reilly tried a running attack, and he fell out of the ring. TJ pulled down the butt top rope. Jordan Perry trying to prevent his ascent. Pump handle. Bob in the ring. TJ's got him pinned, but the official says Jordan Perry's not the legal man. And O'Reilly's back in. Light drop in the back of the head. Did he get enough of it? He put most of the pressure on the upper back. All four individuals are in this ring. I can't tell you for the life of me who the legal participants are. Super kick in front of the official. The official absorbed part of that glancing blow. He's down. It's Boz against O'Reilly. These are the legal men, but there's no referee. Nice uppercut by Joey O'Reilly. Aaron's got a rubber chicken. He took it from Fontaine. Middle two fingers, Fontaine. Steve Eric. Oh, oh, Aaron's hit. His old man, Joey O'Reilly with a rubber chicken. Fontaine. Give him the oh, yeah. Middle two fingers, Fontaine. Has crushed Steve Eric. Javon kick. This man. Bruce Brothers. Will they retain the tag titles? Thanks to middle two fingers, Fontaine. Yeah. The Bruins Brothers are still the champions! Ladies and gentlemen, the winners and still CSW Tag Team Champions, the Bruins Brothers! Have been crushed. Oh yeah, two fingers to the throat and a 